What is quantum computing? The global race to the quantum computer is in full swing. Large parties such as, for example, Google, Microsoft, IBM, Baidu, Alibaba and Tencent are battling to create the first stable quantum computer. Google now even claims to have achieved quantum supremacy with a quantum computer. This means it can solve a problem faster than a modern-day supercomputer. Today's most powerful computer. According to Google, its processor takes 200 seconds to do a calculation where a contemporary supercomputer would take 10,000 years. Competitor IBM, however, criticizes Google, saying that a supercomputer would not take 10,000 years, but only 2.5 days. So plenty of discussion on current events, but the question remains. What is a quantum computer? Quantum computers are intelligent and powerful computers. Computers that process information in a new way and in this way can force major and important breakthroughs. Quantum computers are expected to open doors to possibilities that are currently unthinkable. For example, with quantum computing we can calculate how to make the perfect drug at the molecular level. Or what causes changes in the climate. But also how we solve mobility problems or which material is still superconducting at room temperature. This has an enormous impact on our energy supply. The developments of these quantum computers are going very fast. Why is there so much excitement and is it justified? The term quantum computer was first mentioned in 1981 by American physicist Richard Feynman. The word quantum comes from quantum mechanics. That is the branch of natural science that deals with the study of the behavior of atomic and subatomic particles. Quantum comes from the Latin word that stands for quantity. Quantum computers have the potential to perform calculations much faster than traditional computers. And even faster than the supercomputers we use today. Therefore, they are not supposed to solve the same problems. We may never use a quantum computer to open our emails or write documents. We give an example of an address book to show how the same operation is handled in a very different way with a quantum computer. If we ask a classical computer for the address associated with a particular name, that computer will search for one name at a time. A quantum computer can use its quantum properties to create a situation where it knows all the names and associated addresses at once. Instead of searching step by step for one name at a time, you can manipulate the entire address book simultaneously so that the answer you are looking for is at the top. You do this, for example, with a command that moves all the names beginning with a certain letter to the top. Through a second command, you move the names with second letter of that name even closer to the top, and so on. After a few edits, you'll know that the name you're looking for is at the very top of the address book. All you have to do is open the address book. Imagine you have a computer that doubles the computing power with each added bit. With an ordinary computer, this is unimaginable. With a quantum computer, that does happen via qubits. A qubit can be seen as a quantum mechanical version of a classical data bit. Unfortunately, quantum technology is still in its infancy. No one knows exactly what full-fledged quantum computers will look like. What we do know is that a stable quantum computer, for example, could provide an unprecedented growth spurt in artificial intelligence in various sectors. We'll pick up a few sectors. Aerospace. Aerospace companies face many challenges with complicated solutions. Suppose, for example, that a severe storm threatens to disrupt aviation operations. By taking into account an exponential number of variables, a quantum computer could determine the optimal alternatives for each route, reducing the impact of the disruption. Another challenge? The best airport locations around the country or world for an airline to prepare spare parts for aircraft. Quantum computers can help find the best way to allocate resources to minimize the impact on passengers, crew and maintenance schedules. Chemistry. Quantum computing is likely to have many applications in the field of chemistry, such as simulating the properties and behavior of new molecular structures. Quantum computing is particularly well suited for molecular modeling because it has unique properties that can address the probabilistic challenges of quantum mechanics. For chemistry, we are now working on being able to use quantum computing to predict molecular properties of new molecules, such as new refrigerants with low global warming potential and new solvents to recover carbon dioxide. Healthcare and pharmaceuticals. Quantum computers could also play a major role for healthcare and pharmaceuticals. It takes about 10 years and costs more than $2.5 billion to bring a new medical treatment from the discovery stage to the patient. The probability of success is predominantly weighted in favor of failure. 
Harnessing the power of quantum computers may offer the potential to significantly accelerate the timelines for various stages of pharmaceutical research and development processes and improve their quality. The greatest initial application potential is likely to lie in key early stages, including identification and validation of targets, in silico, computational, modeling of molecular structures and optimization. Improvements to modeling systems on quantum computers could help life science companies significantly shorten the three to six year average preclinical phase, accelerating the speed and cost of drug development. Logistics and Robotics Shipping and e-commerce companies depend on moving goods efficiently and safely from one place to another. That requires sensors on equipment in warehouses, factories and distribution centers, leading to large amounts of data. Machine learning algorithms take that data and use insights to make meaningful decisions. Quantum computing could identify the best places to embed sensors to capture the most meaningful data and speed up the machine learning process. Quantum technology could also determine the most efficient paths for workers or robots to move through the warehouse. Finance. Quantum computing will also be able to help financial institutions solve problems for their customers. For investments, quantum computers will help optimize investment portfolios and price exotic financial derivatives. The technology will also help institutions more accurately characterize anomalous transactions and quickly detect fraud. Future prospect. So a quantum computer cleverly exploits quantum mechanical effects. This can lead to exponentially faster algorithms. And potentially you can use it to solve specific complex problems that provide time savings. As indicated, this also applies to using quantum technology to complement the capabilities of AI, artificial intelligence. It is expected that quantum algorithms will be a widely used tool within AI and optimization in 10 to 20 years. Even in the shorter term, these algorithms can already help with specific problems. Quantum computing may be promising, but right now we are still in the early stages of development. That it is possible to build a quantum computer has been proven several times. However, as with much technology, the question is whether it is cost effective. It doesn't make much sense to use faster quantum computers, if you can get cheaper by using multiple, slower classical computing units. An optimistic estimate would be that in 10 years the first quantum computers will be in commercial use. We are still much further away from a time when consumer processors will be equipped with a quantum coprocessor by default, if ever. One thing is for sure, developments are moving very fast, so stay tuned. So, guys, that's it for this video. What did you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching.